What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how I take these cheap 1x6 pine boards and turn them into this do-it-yourself barnwood mantle. Let's get started. Alright guys, I think I picked out the boards I want to use. Uh, I picked out these um, 1x6 pine boards and I chose ones with pretty tighter grain just to kind of replicate an old growth barnwood board. And uh, the beam I want to make is going to be 48 inches. So I'm going to cut these down to 50 inches right now just to cut them a little wild. Because when I cut these miters to join them together and make the beam, it'll give me a little extra to work with. Alrighty, basically what you want to do next is lay these out in a variation you like. The middle one is going to be the front of your beam, so that's going to be the beam, the board that's going to be seen the most. Um, so I'm going to choose this one. Basically what I'm going to do is cut a 45 degree miter on each end of this one, and then one end of this one and one end of this one, and they're going to come together like that. They're going to form a seamless bond, so it's going to look like one piece of beam, one piece of wood. Alright, so you're for your front board, you're going to want to adjust your fence a little bit because you got to make two miters. So there's another one on this side. Alright, here's what I was talking about. So now that those are cut, they're going to get glued and brad nailed together for a seamless bond like that. But now we also have to cut for our end caps. So we got to cut 45s here too. So we're going to do that now, and this is where you're going to want to cut it down to length. So on that miter saw, we're going to cut them down to 48 inches. Alrighty, now we're going to start with our first glue up. Uh, first though, measure from here to here and cut a couple blocks of wood that's that length. Mine's three and three quarters. I'll show you why once we get to it. Now you're going to want to take your middle board, take painter's tape, probably 12 inches or so, and put them on the bottom like that. Now we're going to glue down here and here. Alright guys, this is where I took those blocks I cut and I just clamped them right there to hold it all together while I square it up and nail it. want to do is measure for the end caps and then once we get it cut down to length we're going to miter it on three the three sides to fit right there all right guys i got the end caps on structurally it's all it's all built now this is the fun part now we got to go through and just give it the barnwood character just start doing a bunch of various things to it. There's really no right or wrong way to do this, but I'll go through a few of my favorites. For the wire brush, this just kind of gets rid of the soft wood fibers, which would naturally happen with age. And then I can use a wire wheel on a drill too to do that. That's one of my favorites. That really gives it an aged look. And then I just kind of took some wood putty and 
just filled in a few of the bigger gaps. Uh, chisel works pretty good for getting around the edges and you know breaking it off, rounding them over a little bit. And then I just took I took nails and screws and just kind of hammered them in and broke them out just to get little divots that would naturally happen. Ran some flathead screwdrivers around it just to kind of give it check marks or cracks in the wood. Wood naturally darkens with age, so I took a propane torch and then decided that one wasn't big enough, so got out the bigger one and just ran it over it and darkened it up a little bit. Then I took my back saw here on the next step and ran it across and this did a pretty good job giving it like so to say saw marks yeah that really gave it a pretty good look and then gave it a quick sanding before wiping it down and putting a coat of stain on it I started out putting a lighter colored golden oak stain on it but ultimately I thought it wasn't dark enough so I put some dark walnut on top of that and that really started to turn out pretty good. Then this is one of my favorite distressing techniques. I take just a nail and hammer it down into the wood, pretty deep, as deep as you can go, and then take some stain and pull it up where that nail divot is. And this gives it a really, really cool look. You know, almost like a nail was hammered in there and took it out at some point. Finished it with some satin water-based polyurethane. And I hung it with a French cleat system. You guys can Google more about that, but it's just 245s. 245 pieces of wood and one sits on the wall, one sits on the beam and it's, you hang it up. It's really simple. So overall I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. A nice rustic beam. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe if you want to see more, and get building something. Thanks for watching guys.